Hello world, I'm Aaron and I'm a developer evangelist uh, here at WebEx. Today we're going to be talking about our WebEx APIs meeting endpoint. Um, today will be the second video in a series talking about all of the CRUD operations that you can perform on our meetings endpoint to interact uh, with your meetings or the meetings of your users. So let's jump right in. Hopefully you guys see my screen. <laughs> so you will need an account for this. So go ahead and pause and come back if you haven't. Um, if you haven't, you might also want to watch that first video. So go ahead and pause and come back once you're ready. Great. Now that you're ready, what we're doing today is making a GET request to the WebEx API's meetings endpoint. So let's jump in and take a look at how to do that first. So I'll go to documentation. We'll scroll down all this, scroll down past all this other great stuff here, and we'll find meetings. And then we'll jump right into the reference. Here we go. Awesome. So as you can see, it's given us quite a few different Git options. So for today, what we're going to focus on, um, first of all, is how to list all your meetings. Let's say you're a hot young developer and you want to build a calendar app that's going to show people's meetings regardless of what platform they're on, for example. Um, so you would be able to uh, pass in a token and get all the meetings for the all the meetings associated with that uh, user. So it doesn't actually require us to send anything other than our bearer token, which is hidden here for me. Um, and we're sending that just to the normal meetings endpoint. Um, and then all this other stuff is optional. So you can actually narrow your, your search down if you like. So let's go ahead and run that. And we get back that 200. So that's good. And these are actually my real meetings. So I'm not going to stay on these too long. <laughs> um, but if we like, we can get back uh, more specific results. Um, so if you look here on the side, we see get a meeting instead of list meetings, which is what we just did. Let's try that. So if you've watched my first video in this series, creating a meeting um, where I created the WebEx API, meet, uh, WebEx API meetings, hello world meeting, um, then what I've done is copied that meetings ID here and I'll put that right here. So that's actually right in the URL that we're passing that in. Um, and then we're passing our normal bear token. And let's see. So there we go. Our API responded with that WebEx API meetings, hello world meeting that we created in our first video and all the rest of the information about that meeting. Um, so as you can see, just a couple simple clicks away from interacting with all the power of the WebEx API, um, specifically in this meetings endpoint. If you want to take it a step further, you can jump over to our GitHub and see exactly how to do all of this um, your own uh, in Node. Um, and make sure you stay up to date on our Twitter and our community forum as well, where you will post all of the latest updates coming from WebEx. All right, you guys have a great day. See you in the next one.